Hi, Gemma. Good morning. Good morning, Gemma. She's so pretty. Come on, Gemma. Gemma up. Hi, Gemma. Beautiful girl. Hi. Those eyes. Look at those sweet, sweet eyes. Which just face? Which that little face? Hey, Gemma. Oh, she's so tiny. She is. You're such a little nugget, Gemma. Gemma, do you sit? Gemma, you do. Oh my God! You I love sit, her. Gemma. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Am I clear? Tiny little nugget. Tiny little nugget. This is Gemma. Gemma, before I go any further, I just need to know if I am clear. Thank you, Pam. Good morning. It's. It, I feel like I haven't done a live video feed in quite some time. It's been extremely chaotic and busy, to say the least. Um, as I was driving here this morning, I was thinking, oh my God, we have so many babies, so many rescues so many. that we have done in the past week. Um, it's a little overwhelming, but I reassured myself. I have conversations with myself. Um, they're safe. And we have an amazing team of volunteers. We can always use more. Um, but I knew Darla was here this morning. She does the morning shift, and then Tiffany comes in around noon. Uh, so this is little Gemma. She's a baby. She's not even a year of age. She was found dodging cars in Miami. Um, dodging cars in Miami, where a Miami-Dade police officer picked up this little baby girl completely matted. Me. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> calls are starting. And uh, she held on to this dog for about a little over two weeks, reported her, put up signs, put up posts, nothing. So with that being said, she was groomed and she reached out and asked if our organization could take little Gemma, we named her, little Gemma into our organization and find her an amazing forever loving home. Um, when she first came in, she was nervous. The police officer did tell us that she was fantastic in her home with her dogs, and she loved, loved her cat. She would play, Gemma would play with her cat all day long, very gentle. But when she came in to us, she was extremely scared and shaking. Um, all the change, I can imagine how confused these little babies are. So uh, she was a little nippy, no, didn't bite, but just scared, protecting herself, fearful. And as you can see, she's coming around. Um, she had all her vaccines, her blood work done. We're going to get her on the schedule for her spay at the beginning of next week. And um, we definitely need to find her the perfect forever loving home. Let me just say to all of you, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to all of you that have... What? $9,500. What? What? I'm gonna kill him. You've got to be kidding me. Get his number. I'm gonna call him back, please. I'm gonna call him back. I'm in shock right now. I'm in shock right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say right now. Um, guys, while I was doing, I had the goosebumps, and I am just like. I can't even believe what just happened. While I'm out here doing this video um, of Gemma, I just got a message from the front girl at the desk that um, we have an outstanding, we did have an outstanding vet bill here at VCA Imperial Point Animal Hospital and somebody just called in and paid our entire balance off which was $9,500. Easy. 
just cleared our bill. Our balance is zero. It won't take long to fill up again. Oh my God, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Brian, where did you come from? Who are you? I had this conversation with this man who called me one night last week and he just said he wanted to make a donation. He's a follower. I asked him what his name was and I started talking. We talked for almost an hour. And um, at the end of the conversation, he said he wanted to make a donation. He made a generous donation. He's been an angel, an angel, an angel sent. I have no words. We are so blessed. Brian, you are amazing. If, if I could hug you and squeeze you right now, I don't know what to say. This makes me feel so grateful and it just makes it, re it assure, reassures me that we're doing the right thing. Our balance is now at zero here at the animal hospital because Brian called in and paid our balance to zero. We had a $9,500 balance. Do you understand what this has done for us? Brian, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Such a big load off your shoulders. It's such a load off our shoulders. You have no idea the sleepless nights that we can't close our eyes because we're so worried about not the babies first and then the bills and where are we going to get the funds and doing all these little fundraisers like we did at Vino's the other night and raised $200 after setting up a table being exhausted and then running and rescuing a dog. But Tammy and Jan ran after the fundraiser to Mahalia to pick up um, the newest dog Sloan. It's just, a, it's just so, we're so exhausted and I can't thank you enough, Brian. I cannot thank you enough. And if I got on the phone with you just now and shut down this video, I've been hysterical on the phone. So I'm going to call you tonight. I love you and thank you. We all love you and thank yes. you. So grateful. And best. Gemma thanks you. And Gemma oh, thanks you. Okay, I'm sorry. I, 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 that was really just... And he just opened the door to tell me and I, I was in the middle of this. Um, he is an angel on earth, the right commander. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm at a, I'm just, I'm, oh my God, I don't even know what to say. Okay, oh, I gotta get back to Gemma. Um, wow, Gemma. So Gemma is a little Havernies mix, um, under a year, and sweet, and she hates, hates, hates being in a kennel. Hates it. She wants to be in a home, she wants to be in a lap, she wants another friend to play with. Um, what we need so desperately right now is if not a, a permanent adopter, we need local fosters. We need to get these babies out um, of the kennels that are upstairs. We have all the new ones that we took in, uh, six from um, the Hialeah area, Tent City. Uh, they're so sweet, they're so scared. The girls up there right now cleaning all their kennels full of poop. Um, Albert's room was full of poop. Uh, mommy, mommy could dive and all her puppies are just pooping machines. Come on, come on Gemma. So there's a lot of work here. It's uh, it's just nonstop. Come on, come on, Gemma, come to me. There's my girl. Oh, now you want to sit with me? Wow, what a happy Friday this is, huh? We get to celebrate. We get to get these babies adopted so we can get them into homes or fosters because they don't like to be here. They want to be in a home. If anybody can foster this sweet girl and help us please make room um it's just really overwhelming here right now and not to mention the uh parvo puppies are ready to be released from the 24-hour animal hospital our bill was paid you know twelve thousand dollars they're ready to go um the the problem with that is they need to have their own room they can't be in a kennel Gemma, come here there's poop out here must have been from mommy godiva um they need to be in their own room, and uh, and we need Morena's room. It's the only room that's kind of off, away from all the other dogs, and um, and that's the safest place for them. So we need a place for Morena, because Morena cannot go in a kennel. She will be absolutely destroyed, destroyed. Um, I'm reading everybody's comments. Okay, so that is the. Um, Parvo puppies, again, we need to get them out of there, like today, tomorrow, and make room. 
So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with Morena. We need a foster for Morena. We need a foster uh, for little Gemma because she's not spayed yet. So she's going to have to be spayed next week. And, um, and then, of course, you all remember um, the phone call that I received from the police officer, Leah Stuber, Miami, when we were already exhausted, and I had just done the video where I said, no more dogs, don't ask me, don't tag me, we're full. And then she asked me if we could come out and help an injured and black lab mix, six months of age. Come here, Gemma, it's too dark, I can't see you over there. Um, so Tiffany and I ran to this injured dog with uh, his ear torn off, his ear, his head had all these abrasions and, and, and just from we believe the doctor's also from being hit by a car. We have given him the name Godric. Um, actually, Tiffany chose it. So it's G-O-D-R-I-C-K, Godric. Um, he is at Pet Express 24-hour animal hospital in Davie. Um, that vet bill is a little over $1,200. He's gonna stay there. Uh, tonight is his last night and then he's going to be released. He is stable. He has nothing broken, thank you God. Um, he had bruising on his lungs. He had bruising on his liver. Uh, his belly was full of bones. He was a little bit lethargic, a little anemic, but not enough to worry about having to do any kind of a transfusion. He's been on IV fluids. We did radiographs to make sure that there was nothing broken. They're going to do another set of radiographs today once he's empty. They're going to fast him this morning. He's been eating. Um, he's, he's finally, he's drinking water, um, he's walking, he's standing, uh, his personality right now, this is Godric that I'm talking about, not little Gemma, uh, the personality of, uh, Godric is he's just scared, and it's basically, he's indifferent, he doesn't have a personality yet, so that's Godric, and I'm just gonna guess, I'm gonna go through all the dogs today, like little Gemma, um, who hates being here and hates being in a kennel. Gemma, come here. The lighting's really bad. Come here. Come here, Gemma. Come here, baby. Come on. Come, come over on. here. Come here, Mama. Come on. She's, so She's like black velvet, this dog. She looks like black velvet. She's gorgeous. A little baby. Just a little baby. Come on. You come on, it. Gemma. You it's J-E-M-M-A. There's my girl. There's my pretty little girl. You're so pretty, Mama. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. We need to get her into a home or a foster because she cries and cries and scratches at the glass kennel box. She does not want to be here. It's a little girl. Yes, Gemma. So please, if any of you are local, if any of you can offer to foster any of the dogs like Gemma or the littles upstairs that we rescued from, um, Hialeah from Tent City that have had the most horrible, horrific, unimaginable lives on the streets and how they survived, I don't know, after seeing them. And there's still two more out there that we're gonna be going back and trying to trap and catch. Um, there have been other people out there like our friend Janet who's been out there and trying to, she's the one that brought in the recent, most recent Sloan. Sloan is just a baby. She's like six months of age and she's smaller than little Morgan Ingrid and they look like sisters actually they look identical um, so please everybody 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 please consider fostering adopting we have no more room here we're packed and we're trying to make room for a new dog that's going to be coming in Godric when he's released from Pet Express Davy 24-hour hospital and also the Parvo puppies must get out of that 24-hour animal hospital like ASAP and we need to move Morena. Uh, Morena is a sweet, sweet girl and she desperately needs a, a foster. Um, Apollo still here. Um, I touched base with uh, Disco's foster to adopt last night, Marianne. As a matter of fact, while I was doing the, I'm doing this video, some photos she sent me of uh, Disco. I'm waiting to check them out. And we had a long conversation last night, and she said Disco is very happy. Um, you know, her challenge is walking her still. She's walking her, but she's very strong, and her yard is not fenced. That's her challenge. Um, so as of right now, I'm looking at Disco as a foster. Um, I told her there was no pressure. I, we only want Disco where she is 
to be loved, adored, and adopted forever because she deserves that. So as of right now, um, it's just basically one day at a time, um, and that's our update with Disco. At least she's not here stuck in a room by herself, and she's on a couch, and she's going for walks, and she's being fed and played with, and, and she's being loved. So that's our Disco update. I updated everybody about Blue yesterday. I posted a photo of him on our page. He's doing amazing, amazing. The difference a, a dog changes so much when they're in a wonderful, loving home environment. So please understand that when we come into this animal hospital, and I know that Darla, right, you can vouch for me how hard it is. It's, it's so really hard. hard to see these dogs in these yeah. environments, and they don't want to be here. And so they're sad, and we know they're safe. We try to tell them that and show them that every day, but it's not, they don't get it. You know, they want to be in a home. This is, and yeah, this is not a home. No, it's temporary, and we know because if we think back, I'm in the moment kind of person. I live in the moment. Um, I don't really sit back and reflect because I don't have time on the almost yeah, 4,000 lives. But think about it. All the different faces that keep coming through these yeah. kennels, you know, it's, it's like... It's a lot of dogs. It's a lot of dogs. It's and we don't dogs. stop. We don't stop. Um, so we are getting everybody spayed and neutered. Um, trying to get everybody on the schedule. Uh, and, you know, this baby girl right here is perfection. And she needs a home and she needs to get out. She needs to get out. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm reading all these beautiful comments, and I love you, and I, we all appreciate you so very much. You don't no. know. I don't no. think there are enough words to truly put it into perspective of how much we appreciate you. Um, so I'm going to sign off. I think you kind of got my update. I, I, I again want to say to Brian how much we love and appreciate you so much. and I don't know where you came from I know you live in North Carolina I don't really know much about you um, I just know that you are an amazing human being and for how, whatever reason you were sent to us it's truly I look at it as a sign from God um, I believe in God I'm not a religious person I believe in karma and um, I truly believe that things happen the way they're supposed to. I believe um, right. there are no coincidences in life. I've been shown that throughout my journey with this organization every day. Um, and I believe that we are very, 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 very blessed. And we are so grateful. So grateful. So um, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Gemma? You don't want her to what? What are you doing now, Gemma? Oh, maybe because there's treats. Oh no, it's that she hates hates the slip lead. Yeah. She <laughs> see. Okay. All right, Mama. Sorry. She doesn't like the slip lead. I'm sorry. She's not used to it. You're a good I'm girl. Sorry. That's the first girl. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna sign off, um, and we're gonna start working with the other dogs and getting everybody out and walked. I'm gonna go grab Apollo and Morena get them out for long walks and I'll update more videos as the day progresses. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. This is Gemma. Please consider fostering. Reach out 877-506-8100. And Brian, again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. There are no words to say thank you. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.